So there's this video that's been trending over the last week or so featuring a 14 year old male student violently assaulting a nine year old female student on a school bus. But the good news is I'm not going to show you that video because it is horrible and I just I don't like it. And, we, you know, we don't want to traumatize you any further. But needless to say, uh, and I should say, too, that student has been apprehended and charged as he should have been. But a lot of people have been posting about it and things like that. One of the people that posted about it is a journalist by the name of Andy Nong. He's an Asian fella. And, you know, he was basically saying how wrong it is and things like that. Although, you know, Mr. Nong uh, typically seems like he is anti-black, but I digress. So under his comment section on Twitter, a lot of white supremacists and wannabe white supremacists had a lot to say. And one of those people was a woman who said this. Are we beginning to see racism against white folks from the black community around the U.S.? I don't know, but I sure have been seeing a lot of hate crime videos lately from blacks targeting whites. It's like, really? Are you there? You, really? You've been seeing that? But have you glossed over the videos of white people targeting black people? And have you glossed over our history as black people here in America? Now, of course, during slavery, there were no videos, but you know the story. So are you going to just negate all of that? You start by talking like you're starting to see that. It's like, girl, stop. But anyway, when I read that, I was like, okay, it's a white woman being a white woman. No big deal. You know, then she went on to say this, man, maybe because I'm Cuban and growing up in school, I got along with everyone, blacks, whites, Asians, etc. Maybe it's been happening for a while, but lately I've been seeing a lot more videos of bullying like this from blacks towards whites, and it's truly terrible. Well, I want to say right off the rip, you Cuban and white people ain't trying to mess with you. Stop, you know, trying to get on a good side by dogging black people. And that's the other thing too. A lot of times we hear about this black and brown. I know that lady don't look brown and there's a lot of white Cubans and all of that, but we hear about that. But here she is jumping in the comment section of a typical anti-black Asian and she's in there caping for everybody else against black people. So we should always keep our eyes open to that. But that's why I said in the beginning, want to be white supremacist because she's Cuban, but I, you know, she probably goes on about her life as a white woman. But as I said, they ain't trying to kick it with you either. You're Cuban. They don't see you as white. Yeah, they might accept you in some cases, but overall, you can't sit at the table with them either. So it does not behoove you to try to get in their good graces by talking about black people. And not only that, you lying. Yeah, I'm not saying black people don't do things to white people, but let's not ever leave off the part of the conversation where white people started doing it to us first. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, y'all, y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.